is the man with the glasses and the funny nose. It's right here. The photographs are just two and a half by three inches, but there are so many of them, the display case is nine feet long. 445 pictures of the same man on view at Rutgers Zimmerly Art Museum. Self-portraits taken mostly in the first half of the 20th century on one of these old photomatic machines. We don't know anything about him. All we know is that he took these images of himself time after time after time, and he saved them all. In most of the pictures, the unknown man is wearing a tie. Occasionally, he donned a hat or had a pipe. As the years pass, you can see him age. It's a, an extraordinary sort of beautiful representation of a life lived. I think he was smiling a lot more when he was younger than when he was older. Historian Donald Lakuta found the pictures in a bag at an antique show and immediately recognized the cumulative impact of displaying the pictures all together. It's like looking at yourself every day in the mirror and just making a photograph just as a record of, of your existence. He's not trying to make art. He's just making a photograph. Trying to figure out why that man sat for all those photomatic portraits, one obvious theory comes to mind. Unlike today's photo booths, digital, quick, and chemical-free, the photomatic needed maintenance. Perhaps the man worked for the company and took the pictures as a test. A photo historian is working to identify him. One thing's for sure, the guy wasn't camera shy. In New Brunswick, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And those 445 selfies have never been displayed before. The exhibit at Zimmerly Art Museum will run until July.